everybody, how you doing? Back out at it again at another place. This is uh, open fields here, old area. Found some uh, neat stuff here in the past. And uh, looking forward to pounding this for a couple hours, see what I can get out of here. So uh, stay tuned and I'll let you know how I do. Got a really, really strong 1246 signal here. I'm gonna dig it live. It's a buckle. Sweet. Not too old, but pretty cool. Well, I'm across the field now. There's an old, another hunting lodge right up there. The uh, cement foundation is still there. Uh, I've been finding mostly trash, shotgun shells. Just found another small buckle. Looks like it still has some of the silver plate left on it. All right, my friend over there just found a Lardson. I think he said it was an 1842. I'll have to get a uh, picture of it. But uh, it's got something interesting here. It looks like maybe part of a buckle or a clasp. Oh, I wonder if this is silver. Uh, I don't know. It's cleaning up like it's silver. Could be stainless steel for all I know. But it's looks like it just wraps around and yeah, it's silver plated. Some sort of finial or something like that. I don't know. All right, seems like we got on a little hot spot here. Looks like I got a nice little suspender buckle here. An older one. It's marked on the back. 1874, kind of cool. Oops. All right, very cool. I'll take it. All right, got a nice signal here, and just because we've been finding some old stuff here, I'm going to dig it live. It's reading like a 1338. Hoping it's some sort of cheap copper. I'm gonna go wide on it because it's kind of hard to pinpoint it. There it is on the side of the hole right there. And that's why it was so hard, it was on edge. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's an Indian head. Sweet. I wonder what year. Uh, I think it's 
1882. Very cool. Indian head. First good coin of the day for me. All right, looks like I have the bottom part of a two-piece button. And unfortunately, yeah, no shank, shank's broken off, but it was right here. There's nothing else in the hole. Oh well. I don't know what this is, but uh, I broke it, unfortunately. You can tell the, uh, it's like a new break there. But uh, I don't know what it's made out of because once I rub it, it shines up pretty nice like it's silver, but uh, maybe it's pewter? I don't know. I don't know what it could be. It was reading 12.35 or so. It's got a little design up on this edge here. I don't know, it's cleaning off like it's silverish, silvery, maybe some sort of pewter. It's solid, because I could see by the break that it goes all the way through, it's not plated. So whatever this material is, it's pretty neat. I don't know what it is band to something, the, you know, the base of something. Not to scan the hole, because I don't think these pieces, maybe these pieces go together. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be it right there. But, uh, it's weird. It cleans off almost like it's silver. It's not aluminum. It's too heavy. It almost seems too heavy for silver, so maybe it's some sort of lead-based pewter alloy. I don't know, but it's kind of neat. I'm going to head back now, join up with the others. We're eating lunch, and then we're going to go do some more detecting. All right, looks like uh, the first good signal from this area is a buffalo nickel. bit toasted, but you can make out what it is. This is the front right here. Here's the back. Very cool. We keep at it. Okay, so I got a really scratchy signal and it's kind of flaring up like a uh, crown cap, but <clears throat> something about it told me to dig it. And just got the plug, and this is soil with green on it, like. Tina. It's pretty large, so I'm thinking there's something nice in the hole somewhere. I haven't even started to pinpoint it yet. Right there. What is it ringing up now? 1228. It's a weird range for something copper, but that was the green from copper. Oh, there it is. I don't know what it is. Whoa. It's like the... It is really slick. It looks like it's some sort of... Hmm, colonial copper maybe. Oh, everything's just coming right off. This is what you call a slick rick. I almost think you can see something on one side, but...
on this side. No. Well, if I can figure out what it is, I'll let you know, but I'm not thinking I'm gonna. All right, so I know we that this area has been hit, so I'm trying to get into areas that other people might not have gone into. So there's these little clusters of pine trees that I was betting on people didn't want to come through here because you got to kind of get down on your hands and knees to get through. And I'm hoping my determination paid off. I got a really awesome signal here. I was reading like 1346. So, right here, hoping it's silver. Oh. I'm gonna pinpoint a little better now. I think this is it. Looks like a buckle. Yep. Oops. Well, that's still a nice signal, a nice find. There we go. I keep trying to squeeze in and out of these pine trees and see if I can't find anything else. <laughs> 